In this video, we will explain to you what we are looking for in the 2018 Zero Project Practice and Policy nominations. We will also explain the procedure and give you some tips on how to improve your chances of making it into the final selection. So let us start with the topic Accessibility. We cover all the four topics mentioned in the UN Convention itself, Article 9. First is the built environment, which incorporates the design and function of the indoor environment, including accessible workplaces. Next is infrastructure and public transport, covering the full chain of access, including public transport systems and walkways, but also, for example, providers of energy or water. Our third category is ICT, which includes innovations in devices, applications and systems. The fourth category is products and services, relating primarily to accessing goods and amenities of private companies, such as entertainment, finances, shopping, conferences and health services, but also including innovative assistive technology products. We have additionally defined four extra topics. Urban development, looking at accessibility from a top-down approach. It covers a range of systems enabling cities and towns to be more accessible and which should be based on universal design principles. Tourism, which includes information on locations, accessible leisure activities and transport connections, or the whole travel chain. Arts and museums, where we seek innovations enabling enjoyment of museums, galleries, exhibitions, other forms of leisure and entertainment, but also conferences or shows. The final category is emergency and disaster relief, where we are seeking innovations in provisions for persons with disabilities in the event of an emergency. Remember that we cover one, education, two, employment, and three, independent living in other years of our research. So if your practice or policy is more closely related to these three topics, we suggest you wait for these calls of the Zero Project in the future. Here is some more information that will help you complete the nomination form and improve your chances of making it to the final selection. What is a practice? Practices are projects, programs, products and services, but also social enterprises and business strategies that enhance the lives of people with disabilities. What is a policy? We're looking at laws, taxes and regulations, subsidies and grants, public service providing the frameworks of private rights and economic activities, standards and certifications, financing and contracting, education and curricula, bureaucratic reforms, etc. Why is this difference important to us? We know that there is no clear line between practices and policies, but you have to make a decision. We have different nomination forms because different kind of information is required for the selection process. Talking about innovative, what are we really looking for? Who has the best chances for final selection? We are looking for creative new solutions that have a proven and measurable impact. We also look at replicability and scalability. Can the solution be transferred or copied to other countries, regions or contexts? Why should you make a nomination? Chosen practices and policies will have exposure to a global audience of disability organizations, experts and leaders via the annual Zero Project Conference at the United Nations in Vienna. Getting international recognition by the Zero Project has had a proven impact on many of those that we have selected. Increased attention by local policymakers and partners, media reports and a lot more. How can you make your nomination stand out? You have to tell an interesting, concise, easy to understand story. The selection is done by experts who read through many nominations and they are more impressed by nominations that they understand. Secondly, you have to show positive, measurable outcomes, the actual results for your beneficiaries or customers. For example, how many people have benefited and what are the rates of success? What about small organizations or projects? Do these stand a chance of being selected? Absolutely. If it's innovative, it's innovative. Two important factors in our decision-making process are scalability and replicability of the solution. In the past, we have selected practices and policies which have helped the lives of under 10 people and over 1,000. Other than the application form, 
What else will make an application stand out? It is important to tell the story and to get a feel of the practice, particularly through the use of media. Videos, photos and personal stories bring the information to life. How do you apply? You must first visit the nomination site. The link can be found at the homepage of www.zeroproject.org. Select your language. The form is available in English, Spanish, French, German, Russian and Arabic. Then register by filling in your details. You will immediately receive a unique ID and password by email. The next stage is to select whether you'd like to nominate a policy or a practice. It is important that you select the correct option as this will determine the questions on the nominations form. Thank you, we wish you the best of luck with your nomination.